or Joe, there was Bill, the man Jill Biden married when she was only 18. I was betrayed by the Bidens. Joe was my friend. Joe was my wife. The Bidens' love story is now legend. How they found true love after the heartbreak of losing his wife, Nelia, and baby daughter in a car crash in December 1972. As Joe Biden tells the story, he first saw Jill's photo on an advertisement in Wilmington, Delaware in March 1975. His brother, Frank, who knew the model from college, set Joe up on a blind date the following night. Is that story true? No, not even a little bit. Bill Stevenson, the founder of a popular local rock music venue called The Stone Balloon, married Jill when she was just 18 years old. Says there's much more to the story, claiming Jill and Joe's relationship actually started in 1974 when he was still married to Jill. Jill I met on the beach in Ocean City, New Jersey in August of 1969. Sure, I fell in love with her because I married her six months later. According to Bill Stevenson, both he and Jill first got to know Joe Biden when Biden was a county councilman in Newcastle, Delaware. Stevenson asked his help obtaining a liquor license. So you were friends with Joe Biden? Oh, yeah. Not only that, I threw a fundraiser for him in August, raised between $2,500 and $3,000. We got married in 70. I introduced Joe to Jill in 72, right before the election in 72. Jill, Joe, Nelia, and I were in his kitchen. How do you forget that? That would be three years before that now famous blind date. Stevenson says his first inkling something was up came when Jill refused to go with him to meet Bruce Springsteen, who was booked to appear at the Stone Balloon. He said, uh, Joe asked me to keep an eye on the boys. And I just thought to the back of my mind, hmm. Then one day, he says a man came into his bar and asked him to pay damages for a fender bender that involved Jill. He looks at me and he says, oh, she wasn't driving. I said, her beloved Corvette, she wasn't driving it? He goes, Senator Biden was driving it. And I went, what? Did you confront Jill at the time and say, what's going on here? Yes, I did. Did she admit to it? She didn't say anything. She just looked at me. I said, you got to go. You got to go get your own place. Jill and Stevenson's divorce decree was issued in May 1975. He says the divorce became contentious when Jill asked for a share of the stone balloon, which he says the judge denied.